send things over to Dave. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, and we're looking at a beautiful start today as we are looking at a lot of sunshine. It's going to be a gorgeous day, but it will be a hot one. However, it's not going to be near as humid as we usually see right now. It's pretty muggy, but that'll change later this afternoon. It's 82 degrees, feels like it's 89 with our dew point there at 75, but that number is actually going to fall down into the 60s later this afternoon. And so while it's hot, it will not be that ridiculously high humidity as we usually see for the first week of August. It's 73 in Hammond. Now our cool spot 79 in Slidell to golf board as warm as 86 at Lakefront, 84 Buras to Port Fouchon, 80s also Belt Chase and Homa. And look at those dew points numbers. We're up a little bit here in the lower 70s here, maybe upper 60s up there toward Macomb, mid 70s in town to the coastline where it's in the upper 70s. But as some dry air starts moving in later today, that's going to knock our dew point numbers into the 60s, which is much more bearable levels when your temperatures get into the mid 90s, which we'll see this afternoon. Ground clutter, that's all we have on the radar right now. But the reason why we're seeing the less humid air is there is a front coming in. Now this cold front, as it's called, of course, is not going to cool us down. All it's doing is bringing in some less humid air across our area here, so that'll be very welcome for us for a couple of days. The front stalls over us with East IES continuing to work its way along the eastern seaboard. It too is drawing down some dry air. That's the red and orange you see here on mid level moisture or known as water vapor. Now you see a little bit of a grayer shade over top of us. That's a little disturbance that'll be moving through today that could spark off some coastal storms, which may be quite strong. Now you'll notice here the blue shade on this map. This is that low moisture. Look at that all across our area throughout the day today, heading on into Wednesday, even on into Thursday as well. Late Thursday, though, it starts to see the, some of the yellows and oranges coming back. That's some of that moisture, and we'll see that as we head into the upcoming weekend as we return to more typical muggy weather. But with the dry air in place, we keep that chance of rain low. Nothing to about 20% all the way through Saturday. How about that? That is some very comfortable weather for us, too, as we are going to see the drier conditions after a very wet July we had. But look at the 90s. They arrive here at 11 a.m., 91 at 1 o'clock, 95 this afternoon with those northwesterly winds drawing down some of the less humid air. We'll get to about 95 of the South Shore 93 in Bell Chase 93 Slidell Hammond about 94 degrees today. Normally we should be 92, so a little bit above that, but not quite to the record of 98. Now this is the heat index for today. Look at that barely about 95 to 100, so not going to be too much hotter than the actual air temperatures will be. So it's still going to be hot. So still saying hey, head out to your favorite snowball stand. Grab two of them today with that high of 95 degrees. Now you'll notice some of those storms kind of firing up along the coastline this afternoon. Those are the strong ones I was talking about with that disturbance. They'll last until dinner time before they fizzle out. Tomorrow morning starts quiet. Heating of the day tomorrow, we could see a couple coastal showers. That's where the best moisture will be. And we'll do the exact same thing as we head into Thursday as well, too. Maybe a little bit more of it toward the Mississippi coast as the humidity slowly starts to creep back into the area. And you'll notice rain totals the highest, of course, where East Isaias is, but not much here the next seven days. About a tenth of an inch, and that's about it. And speaking of East Isaias, look at that. Winds of 70 moving north northeast at 33 miles per hour. This thing's cooking. Working its way through D.C. Incredible flooding rains are expected from D.C. Baltimore, Philadelphia, parts of New Jersey as well. Look at this by one o'clock in the afternoon. It's already at New York City, so this thing is really moving. It's up near Quebec, Canada as we head into tonight. And then as we head on into the rest of Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, it's no longer a tropical system, but spreading some flooding rains across part of eastern Canada. So today 95 tomorrow as well. 94 Thursday, Friday, Saturday, really hot out there. The humidity starts creeping back up for the weekend and the chance of rain starts to return Sunday into Monday.